with Sonia Aimi. Way back in ancient times, thousands and thousands of years ago, among the African people, storytellers, popularly known as griots, are highly valued members of the community. Also referred to as the keepers of records, they are critical in the preservation, transmission, and articulation of cultural wisdom, the people's history, and philosophical concepts. Through storytelling, people and societies around the world learn, develop the codes of behavior, and formulate meaning making in their lives. Storytelling motivates learners as well as helps them access, express, and retain information and knowledge. Stories are to a certain extent the mirror of life. It reflects what people do, what they think, how they live, and how they have lived, their values, their joys, and their sorrows. Stories are also a means of articulating a human response to its environment. To date, storytellers remain dominant mediators for communicating the people's cultural, social, and spiritual traditions. They are teachers, advisors, healers, and they are also entertainers. Listen, listen carefully. Long time ago, in the beginning, there was absolutely nothing. No light, no darkness, nothing. There was just little thing of no importance. And it was boredom. On earth, everyone was bored. Well, Everyone, neither anybody or anything existed yet, not even the earth itself. Nothing except boredom. Osa, the creator of the people, commonly called God, was bored to death. Even death didn't exist either. One morning, when boredom wouldn't leave her in peace, she felt particularly desperate. She began to scratch her head thoughtfully, and exclaimed out loud, Oh, son of one Irami, this boredom will end up killing me if it goes on like this. It was God who spoke so. And there, right there, where Osa had scratched her fingers, imagination had been sleeping quietly inside her head. It was Osa's very finger that had woken imagination who awoke, yawning her head off. <gasps> Just like you in the morning when you wake up to go to school or work rubbing your face. Osa noticed, and feeling quite guilty about it all, began to offer her most profound apologies. Am I the one who woke you up, imagination? Do forgive me, I beg you. I didn't do it on purpose. Please, believe me. Imagination was very kind and answered Osa, saying, My Lord, it doesn't matter, really. It's nothing. Anyway, you know that I accept anything you do. Are you not the creator of all things? Now, this is where imagination was a bit wrong, because as at that moment, Osa had created absolutely nothing. I did tell you, didn't I, that in the beginning, there was absolutely nothing. 
no light, no darkness, nothing except boredom. But despite this, these words pronounced so sincerely reassured Osa that she decided to open her heart to speak of what was troubling her. You know, you know, I have a problem. When imagination had these words coming from Osa, such an incredible thing to hear from her mouth, imagination burst out laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> imagination and said to her, I never did give you the permission to make fun of me in such a way imagination. Absolutely not. When I say I have a problem and it's not funny at all, not a little bit, a minute, believe me, everybody, if they existed, would have problems on earth if it existed or in any other parts of the world for that matter. Everybody. Why then shouldn't I have problems, too, from time to time? Do forgive me, my lord. Forgive me. Please. What is your problem? My problem is boredom. It is going to kill me if it goes on like this. I will invent this, this death so that it may really do so. But I warn you, beware, imagination. You know that if it were to kill me, then it should kill you too. You are not able to live without me, don't forget it. Having been so directly involved in this matter, imagination began to wonder, and Pondry said to himself, a solution to all this must be found, and quickly. Otherwise, it really will be the end of everything. While she was turning over the questions in her mind in search of inspiration, imagination slipped out into the garden to take a breath of fresh air. Oh. 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 So million years later, that's about five minutes of eternity. Imagination dashed back inside, radiant with joy, and speaking to Osa, said, My Lord, I have found a solution to your problem. Is that so? Well, and what might this solution be? That's a building an animal, my Lord. As soon as you begin, Boredom will disappear and simply go away and stop bothering you. Oh, well, that's all you can suggest, is it? Now, the story of a man. Now, tell me, is it really true? Trust your own imagination, my lord. You know only too well that I can never lie to you. Or do you forget you are the one who created me, my lord? Mm. Yes, of course. That's true, seeing that I created you. Mm. Goodness knows where my head was when I did. And so, Osa, the creator of the people, built an Emma and began to play it. She added on other instruments. She played, sang, and danced with immersed joy. Osa played the Emma, singing and dancing to the rhythm and the melodies it produced. What can we do? to what 
was going on around her. Indeed, such a multitude of things happened ever since she invented music. With every single sound of her instrument, she created something unknown right from that very moment. The first sound created invented the sun, which invaded the world with lights. The sun, which hung itself high in the sky and decided to stay there forever and ever. The second sound created the moon that's no good into the night to light up games and dances with its beautiful moonlight. Also played at the instrument again and again. The third sound created the village, then a whole country, continent. Also played on and on. More countries, more continents popped up. The whole world was taking shape. The oceans, rivers, streams, mountain, desert. Here comes the tiger, lion, the panther, <gasps> snake, insects, birds, and fish. And again, the trees, grass, the wind, and all the things that come from Emma when also played her instrument. Everything went on so well until one of the edges, I don't remember which one, introduced the wrong sound which interrupted the harmonious melody of the music. The only sound that was out of tune. Try and guess what was created from that single sound. What was it that appeared then on earth? A strange being, a man followed by a woman. And behold, behind the woman came a crowd of children, hundreds and thousands of children of all colors and races you can ever imagine. These children began to populate the earth, Africa, America, Asia, Australia, Europe, and so on. This is why we must not wonder about the color of any visitor's skin. Right from the first day of creation, all beings came from the same Emma. So, beloved children, ladies and gentlemen, friends, born of Emma, join me to celebrate this beautiful sound of Emma, which unites everyone. Ah, but before we do so, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter at Sonia Ivy, Instagram at Sonia Ivy, Facebook at Sonia Ivy Dash Fun, and you can also download my music for change. <laughs>